Kabayan, Philip Tago Dago po ng CMP. May credit ka man o wala, tutulungan kita makakuha ng new or used na sasakyan. Kaya tawag na 403-483-4135. 403-483-4135. CMP, corner of 16th Avenue and 36th Street, Northeast Calgary. South Point, Toyota's first time ever. The South Point Toyota Tower event. An event so huge, it can only be found under Toyota Tower. Call Alex Tyleran at 403-567-8888 or 403-471-5369. Driven to be different. Pacific Hat Restaurant, Tawagan, 248-2466. The true authentic Filipino cuisine. Matatakuan po sila sa 3231 17th Ave, Southeast. At subukan na kanilang mga daily specials. At para sa araw-araw na agahan, Pacific Hat Breakfast Grande. Join the MTG Healthcare Academy to start your career as a healthcare aide. Their Edmonton campus is now open, offering flexible hours. Financial assistance is available to qualifying students. Register today for the fall programs at MTG Healthcare Academy. Find out more online at mtghealthcare.com. Hey vegan, kung kayo naghahanap ng mahusay na family physician, bisitahin si Dr. Jose Madrilejos sa Village Square Medical Clinic, Unit 120B, 2640, 52nd Street, Northeast Calgary, 1587-296-1588. Bisitahin, Village Square Medical Clinic. Rolling, Rolling Meat, natural ang sarap kung saan matitikman ang mga espesyal na pagkain Pilipino, mga kakanin at ang walang katulad na lit- Chung Pinoy. Ang kanilang ina phone number, 5900-0099. Rolling Meat, naglilingkod sa Filipino community. Call Alma Armada and Company Limited at 403-538-2111. Sa mga kababayan natin na nangangailangan ng expertise, quality service from the professionals in immigration matters, tawagan ng experts. Application for PR under Express Entry and AINT. Alma Armada and Company Limited at 403-538-2111. Babayan. Ito pa rin po si Juan Manila para sa ating Pinoy TV. At narito po tayo ngayon sa Jack Singer Concert Hall. Dito po yan sa Calgary. At uh, dito po ginaganap ang Answering the Cry of the Poor na concert. Uh, headed by uh, Miss Joey Albert and Miss Mr. Ray Ann Puente. So, uh, kausapin po natin. Very, very lucky po tayo ngayong gabi ito. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pagdating dito, Miss Joey Albert. It is my pleasure. It's always good to be back sa Calgary. Mm-hmm. So, uh, kumusta po yung ating konsyerto? Ano po masasabi natin sa mga taong naririto ngayon? You're very, very, very vibrant and exciting, excited. I can see. Baka ba sa sing all my songs, happy na ako? <laughs> so, yung uh, answering the cry of the poor, alam ko po, konektado po kayo dito. So, uh, bakit po kayo, nag, paano po kayo naging konektado at uh, ano po yung tulong na gusto nyong maparating sa ating mga kababayan na mahihirap? Marami na ako nagawang mga concert para sa kanila, mm-hmm. lalo na dito sa Jack Singer. Actually, a uh, few years, uh, many years ago, mm-hmm. nandito na rin. Uh, malapit sa puso ko ang kanilang mga um, 
kanilang mga projects mm -hmm. and ang kanilang cause, ang kanilang mission statement malapit sa puso ko din, malapit sa puso ko ang mga mahihirap sa Pilipinas and I really, really, really admire them for their perseverance through the years. I know that ANCOP has been around for, I think, as long as I've been here. First time ko pang dumating dito sa Canada, na involved na ako sa ANCOP, yung mga kanilang mga projects. Um, and I really admire them and I praise them for their undying um, dedication yeah. sa mga mahihirap sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. So, ano, nung narinig niyo po na magkakaroon po kayo ng konsyerto dito sa Calgary, ano po yung unang reaction ninyo? Wala pong isang kisap mata. <laughs> Nandito na po ako. Ayun, marami marami po salamat, Miss Joey Albert. At uh, uh, maikling mensahe po para sa ating mga tagapanood dito sa ating Pinoy TV. Well, wag, wag sana kayo magsawa sa pagtangkilik sa aking mga awit, pero higit sa lahat, wag sana kayo magsawa sa pag pagtangkilik sa angkop at sa kanilang mga proyekto at wag sana po kayong magsawa sa pagtutulong sa ating mga kababayan sa Pilipinas ng mga ating naiwan and of course wag kayong magsawa sa pakikinig at panonood sa Pinoy TV Ayos. Okay mga kababayan ito po si Juan Manila at si Joey Albert para sa ating Pinoy TV dahil sa Pinoy TV Natural, natural. My favorite winter coat Summer's just recall A broken bottle top And a one-hand soul We follow each other to share this song with you. The message in this song is exactly why we are here today. It's to help our brothers and sisters in Christ to answer the call of the poor. And most of all, to love the more.
Tagotog po ng CMP, may credit ka man o wala, tutulungan kita makakuha ng new or used na sasakyan. Kaya tawag na, 403-483-4135, 403-483-4135, CMP, corner of 16th Avenue and 36th Street, Northeast Calgary. South Point, Toyota, first time ever, the South Point Toyota Tower event, an event so huge, it can only be found under Toyota Tower. Call Alex Tyleran at 403-567-8888 or 403-471-5369. Driven to be different. Pacific Hat Restaurant, Tawagan, 248-2466. The true authentic Filipino cuisine. Matatakpuan po sila sa 3231 17th Ave, Southeast. At subukan na kanila mga daily special. At para sa araw-araw na agahan, Pacific Hat Breakfast Grand Day. Join the MTG Healthcare Academy to start your career as a healthcare aide. Their Edmonton campus is now open. Offering flexible hours, financial assistance is available to qualifying students. Register today for the fall programs at MTG Healthcare Academy. Academy. Find out more online at mtghealthcare.com. Kaibigan, kung kayo naghahanap ng mahusay na family physician, bisitahin si Dr. Jose Madrilejos sa Village Square Medical Clinic, Unit 120B, 2640, 52nd Street, Northeast Calgary, 1587-296-1588. Bisitahin, Village Square Medical Clinic. Rolling, Rolling. natural ang sarap kung saan matitikman ang mga espesyal na pagkain Pilipino, mga kakanin at ang walang katulad na litsyong. Pinoy. Ang kanilang ina po number 5900-0099. Rolling in ang naglilingkod sa Filipino community. Call Alma Armada and Company Limited at 403-538-2111. Sa mga kababayan natin na nangangailangan ng expertise, quality service from the professionals in immigration matters, tawagan ng experts. Application for PR under Express Entry and AINP. Call Alma Armada and Company Limited at 403-538-2111.
so nice to meet you, Pam. <laughs> you know all my songs, Pam. Uh, also from my guest. Ma, from what from what age were you singing oh, this? No. <laughs> it's okay. No problem. We're probably the same. Age. I don't think so. <laughs> Pilip tago daw po ng CMP. May credit ka man o wala. Tutulungan kita makakuha ng new or used na sasakyan. Kaya tawag na. 403-483-4135. 403-483-4135. CMP, corner of 16th Avenue and 36th Street, Northeast Calgary. South Point, Toyota's first time ever. The South Point Toyota Tower event. An event so huge, it can only be found under Toyota Tower. Call Alex Tyleran at 403-567-8888 or 403-471-5369. Driven to be different. Pacific Hot Restaurant, Tawagan, 248-2466. The true authentic Filipino cuisine. Matatagpuan po sila sa 3231 17th Ave, Southeast. At subukan na kanilang mga daily specials. At para sa araw-araw na agahan, Pacific Hot Breakfast Grand Day. Join the MTG Healthcare Academy to start your career as a healthcare aide. Their Edmonton campus is now open, offering flexible hours. Financial assistance is available to qualifying students. Register today for the fall programs at MTG Healthcare Academy. Find out more online at mtghealthcare.com. Ito po si Juvie Garcia ng Pinoy TV. At dito po tayo ngayon sa Jack Singer Concert Hall para po sa isang benefit concert para po sa Answering the Cry of the Poor, para po sa ANCOP yan. At kasama po natin dito ang uh, napakagaling na musician na si Mr. Ray Anfuentes. Parawa kaming may an. Okay. Hello po, Mr. Ray Anfuentes. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, good to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Ano po ba itong concert na ito? Paano po kayo naging magkasama ni Ms. Joey Albert? Um... Kinawagan niya ako kasi may fundraising daw yung angkop, you know, answering the cry of the poor. And basically, sa buhay ko, uh, that's basically a worthy cause. So, gusto nating tumulong. So, yun. Sabi ko kay Joey, sige, okay. Sama ako. Uh, meron po kayong napakagandang mensahe na narinig ko kanina nung nagsalta po kayo. Ano po yung um, uh, pinaka, yung bakit po kayo na-inspired na mag, mag ano po dito, tumulong po dito sa angkop, sa mission po na ito? Well, kasi marami kasi nangangailangan. At kung meron naman tayong kakayanan na tumulong, uh, basically, uh, 
ang, ang principle kasi ng scripture is the reason why we are blessed is so that we can bless others. And the reason why God enriches our lives is so that we can enrich the lives of others with what God has given us. The reason why gives, God gives us more than we need is so that we will be able to help those who are in need. So yun lang ang cycle ng buhay. So freely you receive, freely give. So basically, yun ang, yun ang pananaw ko sa buhay. So gusto ko tumulong. Napaganda po. Ano masasabi niyo po sa ating mga kababayan na nanonood po ngayon na para po lalo sila mahikayat na uh, tumulong po dito sa ANCOP? Oh, yun nga. Nagpapasalamat kami dito sa mga taga Calgary at sinuportahan nila itong benefit concert na ito, uh, Answering the Cry of the Poor. So, thank you so much for dropping by and, and sharing your evening with us. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. First time niyo po dito sa Calgary? No, I've been here many times. Oh, okay. Oh. Ayan. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Mabuhay po kayo. At thank sana you. marinig pa namin na marami niyo pa pong mga musika. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Ito po si Juvie Garcia ng Pinoy TV dahil sa Pinoy TV Special Natural. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ay, hindi nga eh. Hindi nga. Delilah. Ladies and gentlemen, we each have heroes in our lives here. My heart is raised to the highest heights of the heavens, and it's just so beautiful how soulfully he sings, and it is a pleasure every time to sing with him. Ladies and gentlemen, to sing more of the soundtracks of your life, please welcome Mr. Ray.
Magandang gabi bayan, ito na naman po si Gemma si Juan Manila Nagpupugay po at narito po tayo sa Jack Singer Concert Hall Upang uh, panoorin po ang isang napakagandang konserto na hatid sa atin ng Answering the Cry of the Poor Ito po ay uh, pinangungunahan ni Joey Albert at ni Rayan Fuentes At ngayon po, napaka-importante ngayong minuto na ito We, we, uh, we still have like 10 more minutes to talk to him At nagpapasalamat po tayo at uh, tayo po 
ay napangunlakan. Siya po ay isa sa ating UCP leader dito po sa Alberta. Siya po ay si Mr. Brian Jean. Good evening to you, Mr. Brian. Magandang gabi po. Ayo. <laughs> How are you doing today? It's great to be here. Yeah, good, good. Thank you for, you know, for being here tonight, for gracing the show. And uh, uh, let's talk about the uh, United Conserv- uh, Conservative Party. So what can you say about the Conservative Party? Well, it's a very good party. It's proactive. It believes in the rule of law. It believes in making sure that the citizens, the voters are always in charge. And I think that's very important. It believes in lower taxes, lower regulation, and smaller government, making sure that the people of Alberta get the best return on investment for their tax dollars. We believe in the public service. We believe in making sure there's great things like health care and education and all the great quality of life things that we need here in Alberta. But we also believe in more efficient government and a better government. Now, on behalf of the Filipino community, we would like to ask you about the vision of Brian Jean to Alberta. So what can you say about this? I have a big vision. And my vision is all about what's best for Alberta. Mm-hmm. For instance, I have some innovative ideas. They're ultimately up to the membership, but I think that we should look at Manitoba and Quebec. They've taken back the immigration system and made a made an immigration system that works well in their province. I think we should have a good made in Alberta solution for our immigration for our temporary foreign worker program so that we have good workers here that then become permanent residents and then citizens. I think that's a great idea and I think that's one idea that we can look at. We're also looking at a better health care system, a health care system that responds to the people and, and make sure that the people get good health care when they need it. And that includes seniors because there's nothing more important than making sure that we take care of those people that built our province. And of course, seniors in this province, we're short at least 4,000 beds in this province for long-term care, for aging in place, for seniors. And I've been clear on that, that we need to build beds as soon as possible. And we need to get these seniors out of the hospitals and into seniors' facilities because they cost less and they do a much better job. So we need more people here in Alberta to do the work that's necessary to take care of the people that are here and to build our quality of life and our economy. Without immigration, without the ability to control our future, our future is doomed and we need to get back control of it. That's that's really good. So let's talk about the UCP role in Alberta or uh, let's talk about the uh, program that you are acquiring. Is there any any program for the ethnic community of UCP? Well, no. It's all about making sure that all Albertans are treated equally and, and that doesn't matter where they're from or what their background is, every Albertan deserves the same quality of life and also the same protection before the law. You know, I've worked in Fort Memory for 50 years. I'm a businessman. I'm a lawyer. And during that time that I've been a businessman, I've owned and operated over 12 businesses. And, you know, I've employed a lot of people from the Philippines and they are fantastic workers. And I've seen my good friend Roly, who works for me for some number of years now, and he started off as a temporary foreign worker. He is now a permanent resident and he's moving on to citizenship. He's bringing his family over here. And that's how we build a great community. That's how we build a great province, and I'm very proud to be part of that. Now, Mr. Brian, let's talk about the uh, let's talk about the seniors. Is there any? Because I know that seniors is under the federal, but then what will be the role of UCP for seniors? Well, seniors is actually partially under the federal government, but also under yeah. the provincial government. We need to, the provincial government's job is to take care of seniors when they need care, and they need care at home. They need care in long-term care facilities, and they need care in their hospitals. I don't know if you're aware of this, but we have 85 to 90,000 Albertans turn to be seniors every year. That demographic is moving very quickly. It's becoming the largest demographic in Canada. It's the largest demographic. It's a larger demographic right now than our youth. And that means that we are going to have higher costs in health care and higher costs in seniors care. And we need to make sure that we build our population, bring people into Alberta to build our quality of life, build our economy, build our jobs, and take care of our seniors. It's ultimately essential what we need to do. So that will be good for all the seniors like Mr. Clark and Devin there too right and, here and, I'm very and me and me yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the uh, youth like the education for the youth sure um, let, let's see what's the program for uh, for the youth here in Alberta well uh, it's very important because the youth of course are going to be paying the taxes that will support us as seniors I think the most important thing we can do for youth is get them trained make sure they're in education um, make sure that they're getting trained in universities and trade schools so that they're more competitive because mm-hmm. you know if they're more competitive and, and they're unemployed then let's get them more competitive so they can get it employed because it's all about getting 
work and getting a paycheck and making sure you can support your family and have that vacation and have all of those great things you want because you know all of us whether it's you or whether it's me or whether it's everybody out there we all want the best quality of life for our family and our government is there to provide that and we believe that through reducing taxes reducing regulation and making sure you have the best quality of life possible from your government you'll get that so I know that you're campaigning for a leader in UCP so what will be your message for the uh, Filipino community Vote for me. Get involved. Please. Think about this. This is the most unique and important time in our history here in Alberta. For $10, you can buy a membership in the United Conservative Party, and you can vote for the leader. And you've only got about 10 days to do that. If you don't buy your membership within 10 days, you can't vote. And wouldn't you want to be part of the future of Alberta and vote for the Premier? Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Brian Jin. Thank you. And nice meeting you. And just can I say, if that was the Prime Minister on the phone, could you let him know we need more pipelines? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I'll let them know. Okay, Pastor, ang tatanungin po natin ay uh, from September, uh, from August 25, September 9, ano po yung tinalakay natin? Yung kabuuan na talagang napag-aralan ng ating mga kababayan dito. At salamat sa inyo nakarating kayo rito. Ay unang-una po sa lahat ay aking tinalakay sa ating mga kababayan dito ang tungkol talaga sa gabay ng tao sa buhay sa mundong ito. Mm-hmm. Na meron tayong isang gabay kasi nilikha ng Diyos ang tao, mm-hmm. siyang nakakaalam ng gawain ng tao at dapat ayusin ang pagkatao. Mm-hmm. Kaya meron tayong tinatawag na manual. Ito, Sir GM, mm-hmm. manual. Na ang introdu- introduction ko dito, ang manual natin bilang tao ay ang banal na aklat na Biblia. Ano mm-hmm. Kasi po ito ay itunuturing ng ibang pang relihiyon. Pero gusto kong ipaalam sa lahat ng ating kababayan dito na ang manual na ito na Bible ay hindi pang reliyon, pang pamilya po ito. Ito ang magtuturo sa atin ng mga bagay para isaayos ang buhay, pag-uugali, direksyon ng pag-iisip hanggang sa marating natin ang katulad ng ugali ng ating may kapal. Yan po ang talagang ating direksyon, Sir, Sir GM. Okay, Sir. Ang uh, itatanong ko lang po dahil uh, yung uh, karakter ang karakter ang sinasabi niyong napagpapag-aralan natin ay doon po sa mga tao doon po sa mga tao kasi yung pagkakaalam ko doon sa mga taong nakulong or yung nagkaroon ng, ng pagkakasala ay dahil sa kanilang mga galit sa kalooban totoo po ba pa to? Ah, alam niyo po mga kababayan ko gusto kong maunawaan ng tao na ang bawat ginagawa ng tao ayun ang kanilang aanihin alright? Ah, ito po ano man ang iyong itinanim ay sadyang ito'y inyong aanihin. Maaring dahilan sa hindi ninyo pagkaunawa pa ng mga bagay na dapat gawin, nagit tayong biktima ng kasalanan. Mm-hmm. Kaya ito'y nangyayari sa inyo. Pero huwag kayong magalala. Merong ipinapakilala sa manual na may tagapagligtas. Na kahit dumating tayo sa puntong katulad nito, na nakaranas tayo ng pagsubok, ay tayo tumayo. Mm-hmm. Sapagkat alam nyo po ba, may pag-asa sa darating na panahon at yan ang ating pagdating ng ating may kapat. Ayun, okay. At uh, narinig ko po kanina yung uh, ating uh, talakayan dito sa inyong uh, sa inyong uh, mensahe ay kung papaano makakapunta sa langit. Lahat ng tao gusto makapunta sa langit. Yes. Ano po ba ang langit na pinag-uusapan natin? Ito po ang pangako ng ating may kapat. Sapagkat sa sanlibot ng ito ay punong-puno ng karamdaman, punong-puno ng hirap, punong-puno ng pagluha. Alright? Pero meron siyang pangako na yung langit na yon ay lugar na kung saan wala ng pagluha, wala ng karamdaman, wala ng mga sama ng loob. Kapiling natin ng may kapal daw sa buhay na walang hanggan, Sir Jayan. Ayun. At uh, ang sinasabi natin kanina na... Ito eh, napaliwanag nyo naman po kanina doon. Gusto ko lang parinig sa ating mga, sa, sa ating mga tagapanood dito. No, ha? Ang sinasabi nyo na ang makakarating lang sa langit ay yung mga nasircumcise. <laughs> yun, yun ang sinasabi nyo kanina. Pero may ibang istorya pa ng circumcision. Ano po ito? Actually mga kababayan, yung circumcision na tinutukoy ng ating manual ay ang pagtutuloy tutuli, hindi sa laman kundi sa puso. Dahil yung puso na ito ay ang isang paraan para ito'y maibigay natin bilang pagmamahal. Alright? Ang puso ay palatandaan ng pagmamahal. Kaya lagi sa Valentine's Day may puso. Opo, right? opo, opo. Noong ang ating Panginoong Jesus ay umalis na dito sa lupa, ay kabilin-bilin na niya na ito ang aking utos. Magmahalan kayo sa isa't isa sapagkat ito ang tipanan natin upang ang tao 
ay marunong din magmahal sa ating may kapal. Ito lamang ang hinihingi niya, ang matuli ang bawat puso ng isang tao. Sa pagtutuli na ito, aalisin yung mga inggitan, aalisin ang sama ng loob, lilinisin ika nga. Katulad ng pagtutuli sa laman, paglilinis ito. Alright? So aayusin yung mga masasamang ugali, lilinisin lahat ng pusong ito. Kaya nga sabi ni David sa kanyang aklat, bigyan mo ako, Panginoon, ng malinis na puso. Alright? Ito, ito ang gusto ng ating may kapal. Okay. So at saka po, liwanagin din natin dahil yung mga tao daw po na hindi nakakasimba. Kaya hindi nakakasimba ay uh, very busy sila at marami silang ginagawa sa buhay. At uh, ngayon eh, hindi po sila makapagsimba. Yun ang nagiging dahilan. At sinasabi niyo po kanina... Di bali na kayong uh, magsimba na natutulog kesa matulog kayo sa bahay. Paano po nangyari? Okay po ba yung kahit na nagsisimba sila ay natutulog? <laughs> Alam po ninyo mga minamahal kong tagapakinig. Tandaan po ninyo. Tagapanood po. Ah, tagapanood kasi TV na ito eh. Alright. <laughs> tagapanood. Alright. Na itong ating Panginoon, ang bilin niya, love God with all your heart. Si ang priority. Minsan sinabi sa ating manual, seek ye first the kingdom of God okay. and all these things will be added unto you. Okay? Ito lang yung binabanggit. Kasi ang Panginoon ay number one to. Tayo ay zero. Ngayon, kung gusto mo lagi zero, lagi una, una, zero, zero, ipahuli mo ang Panginoon. Ay ang bilang niyan, one lang. Kaya ang gusto ng Panginoon ay una siya eh. One. Idagdag mo ang zero, sampu agad yan. Sir GM, mm-hmm. sampu okay. agad. Okay? Unahin mo lang lagi ang Panginoon. At pag nagsumikap ka pa, another zero, 100 yan. Okay? Kaya dapat maantindihan ng bawat tao na laging Panginoon ang una sa lahat ng bagay. Punta ka sa simbahan, matulog ka. O pero ako magsasalta, hindi kita patutulogin. <laughs> Okay, napunta po tayo sa pagtulog, mga kababayan, mga mahal kong mga tagapanood. At uh, kasama po natin si uh, Professor Louis Bond Jr. At uh, tatanungin po natin, ang uh, sinabi natin ay uh, yung matulog. Papaano po ba, kailan dapat matulog at ano po ang uh, dalawang katangian ng pagtulog? Alright, ang pagtulog po ay nilagay ito ng may kapal na disenyo sa ating pumumuhay, okay. sa ating katawan. Kaya nga binigyan tayo ng araw para magtrabaho. Alright, at ang kasunod nito ay gabi para magpahinga. Okay, kung kayo po nanu- nakinig doon sa radio na ating radio, yeah, radio FM, ay tinalakay natin doon na dapat matulog dahil sa pagtulog ng tao ay maraming ito'y muling ayusin. Alright? Yan ang ating tinalakay doon sa ating radio. Ngayon, binigyan din tayo ng may kapal ng isa pang pamamahinga. Nanupat ang wika doon sa kanyang manual ay ang ikapitong araw ay pamamahinga ninyo right? na ito ay bilang tanda na ako'y sa inyo at ikay sa akin right? so meron dalawang pamamahinga sa pagtulog at sa ikapitong araw na linagay ng Panginoon sa buhay ng tao ayos mga kababayan si uh, Profesor Luis Bon at si Juan Manila po kami po'y uh, marugdob na nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat at uh, kami po'y magbabalik na naman Profesor meron po ba kayong uh, maikling mensahe para sa kanilang lahat at unang una sa iyo sapagkat okay. ako'y iyong naanyayahan sa programang ito sa lahat ng nag sa akin organizer ng ating seminar na ito Saludo po ako sa inyo, sapagkat kung wala kayo na inatasan ng ating Panginoon na gawin ito, ay wala ako sa inyong uh, lugar na ito, sa harapan. Okay? So salamat po ng marami sa inyo, patuloy lang tayo magdalanginan sa isa't isa. Hindi ako napunta sa lugar na ito para magdala ng anumang relihiyon. Alright? Ang relihiyon po ay talagang ito ay hindi makaliligtas ng tao. Yan po ang tatandaan nyo mga kababayan diyan magliligtas ng tao ang isang tagapagligtas lamang ay si Jesus na susundin natin ang kanyang manual at ito ang magdidirekta sa atin na makasama siya doon sa buhay na walang hangga Ay, maraming po salamat. Ito pa rin po si Juan Manila. At uh, magkita-kita po muli tayo dito pa rin po sa Pinoy TV Alberta. Kami po ay magbabalik pagkatapos ng ilang paalaala. Uh, Balik pa rin po tayo sa ating Pinoy TV. Kasama natin si uh, Ka Roger Rodriguez. Magandang magandang uh, araw po sa inyo. Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat at lalo na sa inyo, Sir 
JM. At si Diwata. si Diwata pala yung nandito. Na, napakagandang may bahay na ating host dito na si Sir Juan Manila. At na kami po ay nandito ngayon sa Marlboro Community Center. Dito po sa, ano ba ito? Football. Okay, Northeast, dito sa football court actually. <laughs> At we are really enjoying the beautiful weather. So, maraming salamat sa iyo, Sir Juan Manila, sa pagkakataon ito na binigay niyo sa amin na kami ay inyong makaniig at makasama dito sa inyong programa. So, at uh, si Juan Manila po at si Diwata ay uh, kakakab- kakabalikat nyo sa inyong dinadalang mensahe para sa ating uh, komunidad dito sa Calgary. Yeah. So, again, ho, nagpapasalamat kami at kung hindi ko nakilala po itong ating si Sir Juan Manila, hindi kami magkakaroon ng pagkakataon na nandito ngayon sa television at dito sa radio. Kagani sinabi ni Pastor Dakila, patuloy po yung ating uh, radio programming sa pagkakaunang lunes ng buwan. So sa Red FM 106.7. Ayos, maraming maraming po salamat sa Living Discoveries kay uh, Ka Roger at uh, kay uh, Pastor Romy Dakila at of course yung ating uh, special na panauhin si uh, Professor Louis H. Bond. Maraming salamat po. Okay, maraming salamat mga kaibigan. One Manila po ng Pinoy TV sa Pinoy TV. Natural. Natural. <laughs> salamat. Balik po tayo sa Pinoy TV. Si Juan Manila pa rin po at... Uh, Uh, in conjunction with Living Discoveries po at uh, nandito po si uh, Pastor Romy Dakila para magpasalamat po sa lahat ng nakarating sa loob ng sampung araw po ba yan ang uh, pangyayari? Uh, uh, isang uh, labing dalawang araw Labing dalawang araw Go ahead uh, Pastor at magpasalamat po tayo Taglap po namin magpasalamat sa inyo lahat ng uh, mga taga-panood sa, uh, lalo lang lalo na higit sa mga taong nakadalo sa sa Living Discovery Seminar na ito. Marami akong naririnig na nagpapasalamat dahil sa marami silang natutunan na hindi lamang yung science pero yung connection ng science doon sa Bible.